Hello students, I hope all of you are well and safe at home. Today's topic is the second lesson in, the, in science. The skeletal system. Now what is the skeleton? The skeleton is a framework of bones. Skeleton is a framework of bones. Now the skeletal system is made up of bones, joints and ligaments. Are bones. When you touch your knee in the front, you can feel something hard. And when you touch the knee behind, you feel something soft. So the hard part is the bone and the soft part is the muscle. What are joints? Joint is a place in your body where two or more bones meet. Ligaments are the tissues that hold the bones together. Do you know how many bones we have in our body? An adult has 206 bones. Now when a baby is born, a baby has 300 bones. And as the baby grows to an adult, the number of bones reduce to 206. And how does this happen? There are some bones that fuse together to form longer bones. That's how from 300 it comes to 206. Now what is the function of the skeleton? Can you imagine yourself without a skeleton? What would we look like? We would be just a blob of flesh. Have you seen a jellyfish? So the skeleton gives our body shape and support. Skeleton gives shape and support to our body. Number two, the skeleton protects the internal organs of our body like the brain protects internal organs like the brain, heart and lungs. The skeleton also helps our body to move. Helps in movement with the help of our joints. So what is the function of the skeleton? It gives shape and support to the body, protects internal organs like the brain, heart, lungs and helps in movement. In today's video, we are going to study about the major bones in our body. Now here I have a chart on the human skeleton. The three major bones in our body are the skull, the backbone, the ribs, and the limbs. So let us first take the skull. The skull is, the, is a bony framework in our head. It is made up of 8 cranial bones and 14 facial bones. There is space for the eyes, the nose and the mouth. 8 plus 14 that makes 22 bones. Now these 8 bones, the 8 cranial bones they are interlocked to form a frame that protects our brain. The lower jaw is the only movable bone in the skull. It, it enables you to talk and to eat. Next we come to the backbone. The backbone is made up of 33 small bones called vertebrae. They are called 
vertebrae. Each of the vertebrae has a hole through which passes the delicate spinal cord. So the backbone or the vertebral column protects the spinal cord. Next we come to the ribs. The ribs are thin, flat, curved bones that join the backbone. They form a cage that protects our heart and the lungs. We have 24 ribs, that is 12 pairs. The upper 7 pairs of ribs are called true ribs. They are attached to the breast bone called the sternum. The next three pairs of ribs are called false ribs. They attach to the lower true ribs. And the last two pairs of ribs are called floating ribs. They are the shortest ribs. They are not attached to any organ in the front. So what does the rib cage protect? The rib cage protects our heart and the lungs. Next, we come to the bones in our limbs. We have two pairs of limbs, the upper limbs and the lower limbs. Now, the upper limbs are made up of three regions. The region from the shoulder to the elbow is called your upper arm. And the upper arm has a single bone called the humerus. The region from the elbow to your hand is called the forearm. Here there are two bones, radius and ulna. Now in the hand, the wrist bones are called carpals. The bones in your palm are called metacarpals. And the bones in your fingers are called phalanges. Now your arm is joined to the backbone with the help of a shoulder bone, a collarbone called the clavicle. Now let us come to the lower limbs. The lower limbs are attached to the spine with the help of the pelvic girdle. This is the pelvic girdle. Now the upper part of your leg is called the thigh. The, in the thigh there is a single bone called the femur. The femur is the longest and the strongest bone in your body. Now the, in the region between the knee and the ankle, we have two bones, tibia and fibula. Tibia is also called the shin bone. Now in the, in the foot, the bones at the ankle are called tarsals. The bones in the midfoot are called metatarsals and the bones in your toes are called phalanges. Now remember, your foot has toes, your hand has fingers. Once again, the major bones in our body are the skull, the backbone, the ribs and the bones in our limbs. In today's video, we stop with the bones in our body, you can read the lesson and learn some of the difficult words. Thank you.